Hiking trails are likely to be crowded these days as we inch closer to the spring with a little more than a week away from its official start. But apparently the wildlife getting a head start around these parts. We all know what that is. The Goodyear Fire Department tweeted this picture with just two words. They are back and they are going to be back in full force. And a lot of folks are going to be out and about over the last few days. The weather has been absolutely gorgeous, so you definitely want to make sure you're aware of your surroundings when you are out. And Ginger, we're tracking a return to the 80s and a potential for some more storms headed our way as well. Yeah, that's the spring roller coaster ride. You know, you get a little a bit of everything every seven days. So let's start with the satellite and radar picture because you can see clouds are going to be converging tonight. But this monster storm, I mean, this has been something we've been talking about for the past two months. Every week we seem to have a rain potential and this guy is quite a bit more substantial than last week. However, it's also a little bit higher as far as a jet stream goes. So let's track it for you. Here's our jet stream right here in purple. You can see a lot of the moisture being trapped in. But then as we get into Tuesday, watch what happens and we're going to take a closer look of State 48 so you can really focus on our rainfall potential and where it's headed. So let's take that view where here we go. Tuesday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Morning. We've got some moisture and this is a cold system, so it's mixing in the higher elevations, producing some snow by 630 in the morning on Wednesday. Some of this is going to be dropping in to Flagstaff. Now the moisture is just on the outer bands of the jet stream, so this is very unstable air. If the wind is favorable, this jet stream could drop even further into the metro and our rainfall chances are going to go up. But watch, it's going to circulate around even through Thursday. We've got an opportunity for isolated showers before everything exits stage right by about Saturday morning. Having said that, we've got the warm before the storm. Enjoy daytime highs in the low 80s. Exactly what you enjoyed out there today. We're going to start off with quite a bit of cloud cover, but then we'll be clearing out by the afternoon hours. And again, I am looking for those temps to get up into the upper 70s and low 80s, but the price tag on this we will see some winds in the higher elevations. So get ready. Winds are going to settle in first. Overnight lows will start coming down. And then yes, we've got an opportunity for some showers hours by Thursday. Notice the numbers are dropping a good 11 degrees from where we're going to start to where we're going to end your work week. And then of course the higher elevations. This has an increased probability not just for rain but snow. Jonathan, this system a lot colder. So if we get some snow, we'll get more accumulation than what we saw last week. All right, like you said, let the roller coaster ride begin.